Hello from the Mail Workshop. Today we're going to show you how to change the transmission oil on a DQ200. This transmission is equipped with a dry dual clutch and was used in vehicles with smaller engine displacements to drive more efficiently, meaning to save fuel. That was the idea behind it. We've received some questions from you and today we want to address them. Point one. Do you even need to change the transmission oil with a dry clutch? Point two, we also have an extra feature. This is a high voltage vehicle with a hybrid drive. What do we need to pay attention to here? And for point three, there are a few things that are a bit tricky with this transmission. And for that, we have our high voltage expert, Michael, with us. He will answer all these questions. Michael, what do I need to do to even get such a vehicle onto the lift? So the Michael who wants to work on the car needs to have a special qualification in the field of high voltage. These are specified by the DGUV and we have to comply with them. If I have the qualification, I am allowed to work on the vehicle without any problems. As long as I follow the regulations, for example, cordoning off the area and very importantly, ensuring safety. I have to observe the safety measures and then the oil change is to be treated like a regular oil change. Now we come to the point I already mentioned at the beginning. There's something to pay attention to on the transmission and Michael already mentioned it, the mechatronics unit. There is a real flaw here. Exactly, and the flaw is as follows. The wall with the thread is designed to be very weak. The accumulator is filled with 100 bar of nitrogen. The danger, if the wall cracks, is that the accumulator could shoot out at you like a cannonball when you remove the deformed oil pan. That's why Volkswagen says, if the oil pan is deformed, the accumulator is probably no longer in position. Then the instruction is, completely replace it with a specialist. Now, there are some solutions available on the open market that you can find. New plate, different accumulator. That is what's called a repair. At that point, we're no longer within the scope of official service. But as Michael already said at the beginning, hands off. Your health and safety are at risk here. Volkswagen has not provided any data on this topic. That means they haven't specified any interval. So why do we still have an oil change? It's quite simple. This transmission also wears out its oil and this oil also contains additives that get depleted. That's why the transmission manufacturer, for example, recommends after about 100,000 kilometers, an oil change. The oil is here two liters. I'd say, let's go ahead and change the oil now. The next step, draining the oil. When draining the oil, make sure that you collect the oil because exactly 1.7 liters need to go back in. And since there is no inspection screw, the amount you collect is very important for us. A picture is worth a thousand words. We've just drained the oil, it's done 100,000 kilometers. And with this new oil, we're now going to refill the transmission. The oil drain plug, which we are reusing. The tightening torque is 30 Newton meters. Once that's done, we can fill the oil from the top. For the DQ200, filling is done via the shift assembly. Since that's covered by the high voltage system, we have to use an adapter behind the shift assembly to reach the breather screw. After filling, put the cover cap on the breather screw, and with that, the job is done. Final touch. Start the engine, shift through all the gears once so the solenoid valves are activated. Then we'll take it for a test drive. I hope this was helpful for you. See you next time.